Singapore Math helped teachers understand their role as a teacher. It helped them improve their content knowledge by looking at the textbooks, they understand the mathematics they teach, they understand the methods they should use to teach. Part 2 Addition of Whole Numbers Within 10 So now that we know what number bonds are, we'll move on to adding whole numbers within 10. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to use number bonds to add two numbers, count on to add two numbers, and write and solve addition sentences. Addition is the putting together of numbers. But before we go any further, let's review first what we have learned about number bonds. What are the different parts of a number bond? We have the whole and the parts. Now, let's invert the number bond. Can you still name the different parts? Good! So now let's say we have two units here and three units in the other. How many units do we have in the whole? That's right, we have five units. Three units and two units make five units. Or three plus two equals five. This is what we call an addition sentence. Let's try another example. If we have two blue pencils and four red pencils, how many pencils do we have all in all? Using number bonds, we place two here and four in the other to show that we have six pencils. Two blue pencils and four red pencils make six pencils. Let's write this as an addition sentence. Two plus four makes six. How many pencils are there altogether? There are six pencils. Try it again. Can you count how many kittens there are? There are three kittens. How many puppies are there? Correct! There are two puppies. How many animals are there all in all? Let's use a number bond. We'll put three here and two in the other. Three kittens and two puppies make how many? Very good! There are five animals. Three plus two make five. This time, we'll try a different way of adding numbers. Look at the units below. There are five units and another two here. Instead of making number bonds, we'll count off. From five, we will count until we get to the second unit on the right. Five, six, seven. How many times did we count off? We counted off two times. This means that 5 units plus 2 units equals 7 units. Let's try it again. There are 6 units here and another 3 here. 6 plus 3 is how many? Let's count off. 6, 7, 8, 9. We counted off 3 times, so we say 6 and 3 make 9. 6 plus 3 equals 9. There are 9 units all together. Ready for some exercises? Okay, let's go! See the snake? The snake has 10 parts. We'll use these to solve the following items. Can you tell me what 1 plus 3 is equal to? Let's count off three times starting from the tail. One, two, three. Where did we land? At the number four. So we say that one plus three is equal to four. Can you do it again? What is two plus five? Remember to start counting from the number two. One, 
two, three, four, five. We're at number seven. So two plus five is equal to seven. One last time. Can you add four plus four? Did you get eight? Great. Now try something different. Two plus blank is equal to three. We know that we should start at two. And to get to three, we need to count off how many times? That's right, one. So two plus one is equal to three. How about this? Five plus blank is equal to nine. Let's count off from five until nine. One, two, three, four. How many times did we count off? Four. So five plus four is equal to nine. This time, do it on your own. One plus blank is equal to six. Did you get five? That's awesome. Now we can move on to number stories. Anne has four stickers. She buys three more stickers. Can you tell me how many stickers she has all in all? Four plus three equals seven. Anne has seven stickers in all. This time, Megan has four oranges. She also has six mangoes. How many fruits does Megan have in all? Four plus six equals... That's right, ten. Four plus six is equal to ten. Megan has ten fruits in all. Great job! Now you know how to use number bonds to add two numbers. Count on to add two numbers, write and solve addition sentences, and use addition to solve number stories. We can move on to the next lesson, which is addition of whole numbers within 20.